In this video, we're going to talk about the differences between inflammatory arthritis and non-inflammatory arthritis. In this video, we will compare osteoarthritis, which is a typically non-inflammatory arthritis, to rheumatoid arthritis, a very common inflammatory arthritis. Let us review a normal synovial joint, which is the most common type of joint found in the human body. An example of a synovial joint is the knee. Now, the synovial joint here consists of two bones. The articulating surface of the joint now contains cartilage. Cartilage minimizes friction on joint movement and also acts as a shock absorber. The joint has a capsule, this surrounding structure, consisting of an outer fibrous part and an inner synovial layer called the synovial membrane. The synovial membrane is actually very important because it provides and produces synovial fluid. The synovial fluid located within the joint cavity of a synovial joint has three primary functions. Lubrication, it also distributes nutrients and acts as a shock absorber. Let's take a look at now some features of non-inflammatory arthritis, which is osteoarthritis. Here is a hand of someone with osteoarthritis. Looking into this osteoarthritic joint, there are some noticeable changes. First of all, there is thinning of the cartilage. There is loss of joint space. The loss of space triggers bone cells to grow and form osteocytes. There is subchondral sclerosis, where the area below the cartilage becomes hard and compacted. And you can also find something called subchondral cysts, which are really fluid-filled sacs within the bone. These changes cause the features we see in a hand and in a joint of someone with osteoarthritis. Inflammatory arthritis, on the other hand, such as rheumatoid arthritis, is much more aggressive and can cause deformities if not treated appropriately. Here are hands of someone with advanced rheumatoid arthritis. A joint that is actively inflamed can cause bone erosions eventually. There is inflammation and thickening of the synovial membrane, causing a tender, painful, and red joint. In rheumatoid arthritis, interestingly, the distribution of inflammation is symmetrical, involving the knuckles, the metacarpophalangeal joints, and the proximal interphalangeal joints. The inflamed synovial membrane produces more synovial fluid in the joint space, causing the joint to swell up. There is an increased number of inflammatory cells, such as neutrophils, to the area. Over time, the inflammation damages the cartilage, causing thin cartilage, as well as significant damage and bone damage. Typical features that differentiate osteoarthritis from rheumatoid arthritis. First of all, osteoarthritis pain typically involves really any joint, but typically the distal interphalangeal joint, proximal interphalangeal joint, and first carpometacarpal joints. Although, again, it can occur anywhere with overuse. Bone growth can occur at specific sites, including the distal interphalangeal joints. These are called Hemberden's nodes, and at the proximal interphalangeal joints, called Bouchard's nodes. In rheumatoid arthritis, the joints affected in the hands are namely the wrist, the metacarpophalangeal joint, and the proximal interphalangeal joint. Over time, you can get ulnar deviation and something called Z deformity of the thumb. Now, those are some visual features that differentiate osteo to rheumatoid or inflammatory arthritis. Let us take a look at other features that differentiate between the two. First of all, Prolonged morning stiffness is typically absent in osteoarthritis and present in rheumatoid arthritis. Pain is more prominent at the end of the day with osteoarthritis and in the morning with rheumatoid arthritis. Swelling of joints is described as bony in osteoarthritis, whereas swelling in inflammatory arthritis causes soft tissue swelling. Over the joint of osteoarthritis, there is absent erythema, which is redness and warmth. While in rheumatoid arthritis, it is common to have redness and warmth during a flare. Systemic features are absent in osteoarthritis, whereas in rheumatoid arthritis, they can have 
you know, other features such as fevers, red eyes, fatigue, low-grade fevers. When fluid is taken out of a joint of someone with osteoarthritis, there is typically less than 2,000 white cell count per area, whereas in rheumatoid arthritis and other inflammatory arthritis, the white cell count is greater than 2,000 during a flare. Blood tests are also a good differentiator. In osteoarthritis, inflammatory markers such as C-reactive protein and erythrocyte sedimentation rate are normal, whereas in rheumatoid arthritis, they are present and elevated, and obviously elevated during a flare. So in summary, this video provides an overview of the key differences between non-inflammatory and inflammatory arthritis, specifically focusing on osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis through the examination of the joint structure, symptoms, and very important features. Thank you for watching.